Yo, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video what I've got for you is actually the quickest method on FIFA 19 to get loyalty on your players. And if you guys don't know what loyalty is, a quick FAQ for loyalty. Loyalty is when either you have 10 games on a player or that player is first owner. It adds plus one chemistry to the player no matter what, whether it be in an SBC, whether it be in a squad. It adds plus one chemistry and the only two ways to get loyalty are either by packing slash getting the player. Maybe you got him from like an SBC and it's like an SBC card, so he's first owner. Or it's when you buy a player off the market and you use that card for 10 games, you get loyalty. Now, I'll show you guys what loyalty actually looks like. Loyalty looks like uh, the, the little green, the little green things here, the, the, the little green at the bottom of the shield the little green is what loyalty is and this is what loyalty does not look like the little uh, the little grayed out one so as you see i bought this guy for 200 coins um and the rest of these are green because these are all pack pool players now of course if you wanted to you really could just go into 10 single player matches and you could quit but you get 10 losses on your record this is the quickest way to do it without getting a single loss on your record now as you can see my record is 15 2 and 5 if we go and have a look at the players in the team right now i'll show you guys this player right here because he's the one we're going to be focusing on as you can see he hasn't played a single game for the club and i'm going to show you guys the quickest way to get one game per so it's, i think it's about 25 seconds roughly something like that i'm not entirely sure how long it takes but the first thing you want to do is you want to challenge the team of the week it doesn't matter what difficulty i always go beginner because it's always the first one selected it does not matter how quick or how slow it is uh it, it just you know you go and challenge the team of the week by the way this is on the uh this is on my pack only wrote glory account i'm doing a pack only wrote glory series link in the description to my second channel where you guys can watch that let me just say it's a banger of a series so far we've had some insane luck and i'm very 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 excited to continue with that series so once you get into the game, it's super simple and just follow the steps as you see. Uh, you want to get into the game, you want to wait for kickoff and then you want to either, if you have kickoff, pass the ball out and if, you, if the opponent has kickoff, wait till they pass the ball out. You then want to press the middle button on PlayStation, go all the way over to settings, click on settings and then go to network. On network, you see connect to the internet, Literally just press, it, press X on it once, then press X on it again. It will disconnect and reconnect you to the internet. You want to go back into the game and you see that you've lost connection to the EA servers and it will go all the way back to the main menus. It's really easy. It's literally like, it's like something that's incredibly easy and I can't think off the top of my head of something that's incredibly easy. However, if I was thinking of something really easy, I'd be thinking of this. So it's really easy. And we will be showing you guys how to do it on, on Xbox as well. So Xbox users, I'll show you guys how to do it in just a few seconds. So we get loaded back into the EA menu and EA Ultimate Team. And as you guys see there, we saw the team of the week. Go back into the loyalty team. And as you'll see in just a second on this player right here, we've got one game played without a loss on our record. We're still 15 and 5. No losses on the record. And we have a we have one game played on that guy's record. This does not affect your coin boosts at all. This does not affect your win-loss ratio at all. This does not affect your skill rating. This does not affect your DNF modifier. It literally does not affect anything. The only thing it affects is the contracts of the players in the team that you guys are using for loyalty that's the only thing that it affects now for the playstation uh, users that's how you do it for the xbox users i'm gonna switch over to xbox and show you guys how to do it now on the xbox now i just recorded this whole thing and realized i wasn't recording so we have this player here that doesn't have loyalty he has one game on his record for us so far and as you can see my record is absolutely awful it's 24 10 and 27 we're going to go ahead and challenge the team of the week as usual. It's as simple as that. And this one's actually quite easy. Now, one thing I will say, first of all, is you want to make sure you have a second account logged in. Once you've got to wait and logged into a second account, it can literally be any account. It's not important. You just need to make sure you have a second account logged in. You want to go ahead and you want to challenge the team of the week, of course, on any variation of difficulty. It really does not matter. And you want to get into the game as quickly as you possibly can. Now, the most important thing is you have to pay attention whilst doing this. Make sure you watch closely um, at what I'm doing because a lot of people do mess this up and uh, not that it's detrimental if you do mess it up but you do you want to get it right first time every time and it's really quick it's a lot quicker than just dashboarding the game and loading it back up I will tell you that for free because let me tell you I was doing that before until I find this method and this method was a lot better so you want to pass the ball as you do on PlayStation you want to press your Xbox home button and wait until the poor screen comes in the background go over to your account and you want to sign out of your main account the account that you're currently on and what you'll do is you'll wait and see. It will say that you've been booted off the EA Live service. Once you see that message, you want to go back onto your main account and log in. It's as simple as that. Whilst you see that message on your screen, log in. You want to go ahead and press A and it will take you all the way back to the main menus of FIFA 19. 
And as soon as you do that, it's literally as easy as just logging back in. Uh, it's not as simple as the PlayStation method. However, it's just as effective and pretty much just as quick. I think the PlayStation method is just an eeny weeny bit quicker. But once it connects you to the EA servers, you'll have no losses on your record and an extra uh, game played with whatever players that you do want to, of course, uh, play with. So like I said before, of course, the only negative sides are you do have to actually refuel contracts. Doesn't give you a loss or a win, but you do have to refuel all the contracts that you uh, that you need. So obviously, if you have a player with seven contracts, you need ten games. You have to put three more contracts on him. And as you can see, two games played instead of one. It's as easy as that. If you guys did enjoy, leave a like down below. Thank you all for the support recently. I greatly appreciate it. We're closing in on fifty thousand subscribers, which is amazing, and I, I'm very grateful for all the support you guys are showing me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you lads later.